What's up guys, Justin here with another poorly reviewed beer. Now I'm going to read this exactly as it has it on the can. Uh, brewed and packaged by Brewhub LLC, Lakeland, Florida, for Rock Brothers Brewing Company, Tampa, Florida. This is Hootie's Homegrown Ale. Uh, reading from the can, Brotherhood. In the 1990s, four guys took the country by storm following the release of their, uh, their de debut album, Cracked Rear View. They were Mark, Dean, Darius, and Sonny, collectively known as Hootie and the Blowfish. To those beyond South Carolina's borders, the band's success seemed overnight. But in reality, it was years of traveling in a band from town to town, honing their craft that turned a band of brothers into an iconic success story. Today, Hootie's creative juices are flowing again through, through the time-honored craft of an artisan ale. Hootie's homegrown ale was created in collaboration with Rock Brothers Brewing, a small band of brothers themselves, who are creating their own medley of custom craft beers from coast to coast. This collaboration between band and brewer produced a delicious, sessionable blonde ale, created with the same spirit that harkens back to the start of it all, when four guys met at the University of South Carolina and decided to write some songs, play some shows, and make some memories. We hope this beer creates mem memorable moments with your friends and family. Hops and Malt composed by Rock Brothers, Cigar City Brewing, and Palmetto Brewing Company. Now on the can, uh, I don't think it'll quite focus, but it says 5.2% uh, alcohol by volume. The website uh, for Rock Brothers says 4.5%. Um, so it's falling in the, definitely uh, either way. It's uh, sessionable is a fair term. Maybe 5.2 is a little bit on the high side, but, um, but pretty close to a, a sessionable ale. Um, so Hootie and the Blowfish, of course, the, the big 90s band, as I said on the can, uh, came out with a, a, a number of hits, including Only Want to Be With You, Let Her Cry, um, fronted not by Hootie, but by Darius Rucker, who's now gone on to uh, be a, a country star. And um, Rock Brothers Brewing is a uh, Tampa-based brewery. They're aiming to uh, provide musical artists with beer-based avenues to connect with their fans. And so much like this Hootie's Homegrown Ale, um, they've kind of partnered with a handful of musical acts, um, including Hootie, as well as uh, rock, uh, rock, rap, and reggae group 311, as well as a, a few other artists, to create these beers that kind of um, fit those those bands and musical artists' styles. So let's check the beer out. All right, so a uh, nice kind of light gold color. Kind of holds up in the in the light. Maybe some yellowish highlights on the sides. And uh, I guess probably, was probably about fingers worth of head when I first poured it. This is a little bit of a, a wider mouth glass, as you can see, than normal. So um, I think that head's probably spread over a little bit more surface area, so if this, this had been a normal glass, it probably would have been a uh, finger to a finger and a half of head initially, and it's dissipating relatively quickly. Uh, to that point, not a whole, whole ton of carbonation, just a number of small bubbles, but not a whole, whole lot. And it's virtually see-through. Maybe just a very, very, very light haze to it. All right. Enough talking, let's get to drinking. Uh, a mild, mildly sweet grain note starts out. Um, very much just a, a beer-like, but not, not in a bad way at all. Yeah, just a, a very light... A, it, Strikes me as something that's very appropriate for a, a hot summer day in South Carolina, of which there, there are many. The uh, Hootie and the Blowfish, as they, they uh, mentioned, uh, hometown of uh, Charleston, South Carolina, met at the University of South Carolina, right here in Columbia, actually. Um, so plenty of uh, warm and hot days where you might want a nice, uh, nice light beer like this. Pretty crisp, again, just... Um, a mild sweetness starting out, and then some grain notes. Something a little bit, uh, a bit bitter on the very back end as well. Uh, 
almost like a a grainy note that's morphing into something kind of almost uh, a vegetal, like some kind of husk, uh, a, a, like a vegetable husk, a corn husk maybe. It doesn't really necessarily seem hoppy per se, like a hop bite. It's kind of more, feels like it's coming from the grains, at least to me. So, again, fairly mild flavor-wise overall. Um, just a generally pretty light beer overall. Uh, finishes up, gets, it's pretty clean. Um, again, just finishes up pretty quick. and uh, Not a whole lot to it, but uh, I think that's kind of the thing. I think they're going for something light and refreshing and, again, on that crisp side, so... Certainly nothing on the order of like that Imperial Pilsner that I had yesterday, but uh, I think they probably got exactly what they were uh, shooting for. So that is the Hootie's Homegrown Ale from Rock Brothers Brewing Company. And that is it for this edition of Poorly Reviewed Beer. Uh, starting Tuesday will be the uh, Christmas Beer uh, series. Three or four parts, six or eight beers, depending on... Uh, how it's going and how much I'm enjoying what I'm doing on those beers. If I'm, if I'm done after six, then I, I have plenty of other things to uh, to move on to. But if I'm really enjoying doing the Christmas beers, I'll do, uh, I'll do a couple more. So that will start Tuesday and run at least through all of next week. Um, so you can find all of, all of my reviews, both video and written, along with news, commentary, and more at PoorlyReviewedBeer.com. Also check out PRB on Twitter and Facebook. You'll find those links in, in the description below. Also on the uh, the mobile apps, Untapped and Instagram, you can find me at username poorly reviewed beer, and of course poorly for all of those is spelled P O U R L Y, P O U R L Y reviewed beer. I'm um, also feel free to like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you around at poorly reviewed beer.